several villages, okay? That was approximately 1733. And then in 1753, something really important happened with the Tudelo, the Saponi, the Nanticoke, and the Delaware people. In 1753, there was an adoption into the Cayuga people. In 1779, the Saponi lived near Buttermilk Falls. How many of the people here know where Buttermilk Falls is? Know your history. Good, okay. In a village called Corriganel, approximately 25 longhouses uh, occupied the village. It was surrounded by fields of corn, apple orchards, and plums. This village was uh, invaded by General Sullivan's army under Washington. Sullivan and Dearborn's army came through. What they did was they actually destroyed approximately 70 Iroquois villages in the area. Our first dance that we're going to share with you, we're going to ask our singer, Chris Thomas, to lead in our dancers with a stomp dance. So please, just fall right into line, and we'll show you how it's done on this stomp dance. <coughs> hi hi yo hey yo hey yo hey yo hey hi 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 here at the Tudelo Homecoming Festival. This is, I believe, the third year that I've been here at the festival, and I love to come and share some of our traditional Haudenosaunee stories with you here at the festival. We call ourselves, in our own languages, the people of the Six Nations, we call ourselves the Haudenosaunee, the people who built the Longhouse, the people of the Longhouse. So I am a Haudenosaunee person. Well, we say this story happened a long, long time ago, back when the great Turtle Island was brand new. And that is what the Haudenosaunee people, that is what we call this place that we live on. We call it the Great Turtle Island. It comes from our story of how the whole world was created. The song is called in honor of life giver. Archaeologist, so I've been excavating an early Cayuga village with the permission of the Cayuga Council. 
We are working to reform archaeology to make it a positive influence for Native people instead of a very negative one that it's been where archaeologists excavating burials in sacred places. We're working more to bring their history back to them and keep that history from being changed or revised by other folks who want to minimize the connection to the land that they had. So we do like volunteer projects there, and then we also do stuff throughout the year, like come in here and volunteer, and they also come to our school and people in our school host them. We actually, it's, since it's just the beginning of the school year, we're just getting started on learning about them. This is actually our first activity or volunteer work having to do with the Akwesasne people and people of the Six Nations. So just today, I've learned a lot just talking to people and volunteering. Oh, hey! 